Assalamu alaikum. Hi guys. Welcome back to another video. Today we're making gosht palak. So in a pan, I added in one cup of oil. I've added in onion um, and we're just frying that on high heat. That's one large onion. To the onion, we're going to add in one tablespoon of garlic paste. and half a tablespoon of ginger paste and fry these all together on high heat until it's like a nice golden color you don't want it to go too dark so once it's at this stage we're going to add in our meat so i've got 500 grams of mutton meat here washed cleaned and pop it in there's no water here at all, just the onions, the oil, garlic and ginger. Fry this all together on high heat. And we're going to fry the meat on high heat until it turns into a white colour. So as you can see, the meat has changed colour here. And this is all on high heat. We've not added any water at any point. I've added in two large chopped tomatoes. Mix this all together. And keep frying this and keep stirring. So after a few minutes you can see that the tomatoes have melted and the whole um, curry has changed colour. At this point I'm adding in one tablespoon of salt. You can change this according to your taste. One heaped tablespoon of um, basar which is mixed spices. And give this a really good mix so the tomatoes are left their water and the meat is also leaving its water that's why we've not added any water i've added in one teaspoon of paprika powder here as well you can change the salt and the chilies according to your taste. And give this all a really good mix. So it's been frying and cooking for a while now. The tomatoes have uh, fully cooked. I've added in three tablespoons, heaped tablespoons of fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. And again, mix this really well. So after a good few minutes of cooking and frying it should look like this i'm now going to add in one liter of water and turn the gas low give it a mix turn the gas low put the lid on and let it cook for an hour on the lowest heat possible so this is after an hour the meat is like this now at this point we're going to turn up the heat onto full and cook without the lid so your curry should be looking like this now. So some of the water has now uh, evaporated. And we're going to add in 300 grams of spinach. You can use less or more, just depends on how you like your meat with your, your spinach. We've added 300 grams of spinach and we're going to mix this all really, really well. This is still on high heat now. Spinach cooks really fast. So it's not something that you're going to put in the pan and leave. You'll have to stay there and watch it cook. So at the, with half a kilo of meat, I found that this 300 grams was enough. So the spinach left some water as well, that's why it's at this consistency. Leave the lid off and cook this on high flame. And now that the water is finished, the curry should be looking like this. 
at this point you can add in some garam masala and coriander powder but i did not add it in this curry and there your gosht palak is ready you can serve it with um, chapati naan roti whatever you fancy we hope you enjoyed that video if you're new make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon and don't forget to comment below thank you